Okay, so now we've learned how to do our slip knot, we're going to make um, our, our chain, which is uh, the foundation of any flat piece of uh, crochet that you would do. So you've got your hook uh, through your slip knot there, making sure that there's a bit of room at the bottom of it because you need to be able to pull through. You've got the tail end of your uh, yarn in the bottom of your hand, and then however you have your tension, you can see mine, I have mine wrapped through my fingers there. Um, you have that around the top because we are going to use this top part of the yarn, which is uh, attached to the ball at the end. Uh, and that's what we're going to make our chain with. So hook goes under and rotate it round and pull through the loop. So here you can see we have our first chain loop. loop. And we're going to go again, not to, don't pull it too tight. We're going to go under, we hook that bit of yarn and then we pull it through. First, second one. Okay, and then a third. Hook and under and pull it through. A little tip is when you're following a pattern and you're asked to chain, um, the chain actually on the hook, so this particular one right here, isn't counted as a chain. So one, two, three, four, I've got, you don't count this one. So if you're asked to chain 30, you will chain 30 that are here below the hook. The one on the hook doesn't count. 